Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Fat Blokes Shorts. And here we are, this is Virtual Box. Now, normally along this left hand side you will see the virtual machines that you've created, but because this is the first time we've run Virtual Box, we haven't got any. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new virtual machine. Let's say we want to create um, and install Windows 7 into our virtual machine. So we choose the operating system type. VirtualBox supports lots of different types. There's Windows, Linux, Solaris, BSD, OS2. Um, and within the different categories, we support lots of different subsets, as you can see. But as we said, we're going to use this opportunity to take a look at Windows 7. We can support Windows 7 32-bit or 64-bit. Let's try 32-bit. We're now asked, how much memory should we give our virtual machine? So let's go with the recommendation, which is 512. And it now asks us, do we have a hard disk or do we want to um, create a brand new one? Well, I don't have one, so let's create a brand new one. VirtualBox supports the idea of either pre-allocating the storage or growing dynamically to a certain limit. So let's choose a dynamically expanding disk up to a maximum of 20 gigabytes. And that's it. We've now created a virtual machine. Now, before we turn on our virtual machine, there's a couple of extra um, details I want to change. First of all, audio. I'd like to be able to hear what my uh, Windows 7 machine is going to be doing. So I'm going to turn that on. And um, I think normally what would happen if this was a physical PC is that you'd probably at this point plug in your CD or your DVD of your Windows setup disk. Now I've downloaded from Microsoft the ISO image of the Windows 7 beta so I can just simply navigate to that in the file system and choose the ISO image. And now we're all set to turn this thing on. So Windows 7 now boots up. The window is actually a little bit larger than we can capture on this um, 1024-768 screen capture. But I'm sure you guys can understand what's going on here. Windows is loading. And there's a nice uh, startup picture of the Windows logo now. And we're taken into the beginning of the setup program for Windows 7, where we're asked to choose which language do we want to use. Um, where are we from? Well, let's be civilized and let's choose the United Kingdom. And click Next. And we're all set to begin installing into our virtual machine, onto our virtual hard drive, Windows 7. So we have to agree to the license terms. And we're asked, do we want to do an upgrade from a previous version of Windows? Well, no, this is into a clean machine, so we choose the custom allocation. We're going to install it onto our virtual disk, which we created earlier on for this uh, 20 gigabyte maximum. And away Windows goes doing its various stages, copying the files, expanding them, installing them, and installing the updates uh, before finally completing. So at this point, I'm going to fast forward a little bit so that you don't have to spend all your life watching Windows do this stage of the setup process. Windows soldiers on. And then Windows V-Boots. And continues installing. And Windows V-Boots again. But this time it's going to boot from the hard drive, not from the DVD. And 
then it tells me that it's doing something special because this is the first time it's booted off the virtual hard drive and now we give it an account So we add our product key and then we get into the security settings for Windows. So uh, we'll choose the user recommended settings and we'll use that date as well. And then for networking, we'll choose a work networking setup. Haven't told in Windows 7 all of this information. It then throws that into the mincing machine and creates me a fully provisioned and deployed Windows 7. And so Windows 7 is now up and running and I'm now downloading and installing updates. So we have Windows 7 running within a virtual machine on an Intel Mac. But our work isn't done yet, because for optimal use of VirtualBox, we should install the guest editions. To do this, you just drop down the menu, Devices menu, and say Install Guest Editions. And this is um, the equivalent of sticking a CD or DVD into the, into the drive, as we can see down here. Um, and if we go over to the uh, Start menu, And we look at my computer. And we open up the DVD. It says, hey, there's some stuff on there published by some microsystems. Do you trust them? So we're going to say yes. And it's going to go through the setup program for the VirtualBox guest editions. So the guest editions are a series of drivers and some uh, additional uh, utilities and services which make the whole kind of uh, Windows as a guest much more seamless. So we're going to install a display adapter. We're going to install uh, mouse drivers as well so that as you traverse from uh, a, a Mac window to a Windows window, it all becomes very natural and intuitive. Some of the uh, extra features that are capable because of uh, the, the guest editions include shared folders so that the Windows guest can see the file system of the Mac host. That has to be consig configured separately for security reasons, obviously. And um, the ability to display the Windows applications either in one resizable window or in seamless Windows mode so that the uh, Windows applications float alongside of the Mac applications in a very natural way. Finally, we have to reboot um, because we've installed some new drivers there. So we reboot the virtual machine. And now as we log in again to Windows, we can see that um, in the status bar of the virtual machine, we have this small mouse with a, a pointer on it, which indicates that the guest editions are installed and mouse integration is installed. And what's happened now is that we've resized the display adapter of the uh, Windows guest to the size of the window. And I can resize this one to get just the right size I need. So, guest editions, make sure you install them before you continue to run Windows 7 in a production environment. It makes life a whole lot easier. So that's it for this episode. I uh, hope you've seen that we've created a virtual machine, we've installed Windows 7 into it, we've installed the guest editions, and that we've done it all using VirtualBox on the Apple Mac. Thank you, and see you next time.